Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a simple website using Microsoft Visual Studio. So for this tutorial you'll need some few tools and one of them is Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio IDE. That is IDE to mean Integrated Development Environment. Well, if you don't have the software, it is freely available at uh, visualstudio.com just go to the website and once you get there you will see the link download community the community edition is free of charge so you can always download it and install it to your PC the next thing you need to do is uh, enable the server that is the internet internet information services and how you do that is simply by coming to control panel then you go to programs and features click on it and from there you should now turn to should now go to turn windows features on and on or off so when you click turn windows features on or off you get this window let me, let me maximize it and from there choose or rather check the internet information services box as you can see i've already done that just so that you can see what's inside once you choose or rather once you check this box you'll have enabled the web management tools and the worldwide web services and that's all you need for now so having done that you'll have your internet information services uh, enabled and you'll it will help you with your it will help you get the server to continue with your web development good so once that is done we get on to our website very quickly open up or rather launch your Microsoft Visual Studio and go to file new website so once you get there go to the templates choose Visual C++ Visual C sharp excuse me and then choose the first option which is an empty website for now we will go with the default that is a web location file system but you are going to come here and you are going to change the name of our the name of our website as you can see it has a default name of website 2 in this case mine will be a fashion website okay so once i name that fashion website i'm ready to go click ok and wait for visual studio to create the project as you can see Visual Studio has created the project for you now what you need to do is to add the template or rather the theme of your website as I had earlier mentioned this is a fashion website so I'll kindly advise you to go to the internet search any website where they have the CSS free templates and once you google that you get very many websites that offer free css templates just choose any of those websites and they'll you'll be able to get the template that you want as you can see all these are very nice templates so all you need to do is click on one of them and download these are just some of the few websites that offer free CSS templates. Once you do that, normally you are going to get uh, the template in form of a zipped file. Once you get this zip archive, all you need to do is right click it and using your the software of your choice, you unzip it. Right? I'm going to do that. And as you can see, I had done that before so let me just do it again just to all and there you have it here it is high fashion template now once you have your template you come to your visual studio uh, software that you've already launched you can close all this we don't need for the time being so you go to your high fashion uh, directory that's already extracted double click it 
and once you double click it you're going to find all the all the files that are in there so very quickly select everything once select everything you come here and copy after you copy go to visual studio onto your root folder all you need to do is paste as you can see everything is pasted now after you do that you can quickly go to index.html file that is your home home page if you like and in your home page you're going to find all that code so once you're there hold it there come back to fashion or rather your home directory right click add new item here we are going to add a simple HTML file or rather a simple master page click on master page and select and rather add add and there is your master page now once you have your master page you're going to come back to your index.html file for uh, HTML page or rather and you're going to copy everything that is on the head section the head section is here everything that's there you're going to copy you're going to go to your master page and you're going to replace that you're going to delete that create some space that you can see and then in the head section I'm going to paste once I paste that I save go back to the index.html file go down down and you have your body section so for you to go quickly for you to move fast just collapse this div and once you do that select everything that is in the div section once selected right click copy go to your master page and write under the contact placeholder content placeholder that is the closing div as you can see this uh, sliding um, what we call it this closing tag right beneath it come and copy copy what you've just or rather paste what you've just copied sorry then save after you do that you can come back up here go way up the content placeholder for now we don't need it you might as well delete it save after that choose the browser of your choice and as you can see i have firefox as my default browser so i'm going to test this page or rather this project on my browser i click on firefox give it some time and there is your website as you can see it only took me about two minutes to get the template or the theme installed let's test the pages so this is the home page as you can see it has the images and everything so the rest is up to you to edit to your choice let's test this link the blog link there you have it working perfectly let's test that okay there it is working as it should home page back to home page let's test another link blog simple page single page there it is products page all working as it should so as you can see our implementation of the theme worked quite well so for now i just want to show you how to do that then later on we are going to come and edit all this add the proper products and the proper details as it should and for that i thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel and i uh, hope to see you next time have yourselves a nice day.
Thank you.